Welcome to the second part of the pen collection uh, review. This is a new pen that I just uh, purchased last week um, at Harrods in London, along with this very nice um, crocodile skin pen case from Mont Blanc. This is a 149, the third in my collection that has some has a very special nib it's called an oblique double broad and if I were to show you a writing sample of how this nib performs on paper let's move the pen case across and get some paper in here this is a special kind of paper as well. It is the Verge de France Gilalo paper. And um, it's not the cheapest paper on the block, and it's um, in ivory finish. But it is really nice. Here's a sample in red that has been written with this nib. The interesting effect is that it offers a cursive, italic, almost like a calligraphic effect, if I were to write on this. Let's see if I were to say Mont Blanc. And to show you the line variation, we can do... It's writing a bit dry on this paper. Now let's try the usual test patterns. And let's just say... I'll write my name. And now you can take a look, once I turn the page around, the proper way, of how the nib has the effect on the paper. Pretty smooth and... It would actually be far smoother if I were to use a wetter ink. It's the typical 149 piston filler with this uh, magnificent oblique double broad nib. Moving along to our next pen. This would be my first true limited edition from Mont Blanc. It's the George Bernard Shaw writer's edition the nib is very special in the sense that it has a Pygmalion which is a flower engraved on it because Pygmalion is the show by Shaw the play actually that first um, gave rise to the uh, My Fair Lady movie and um, the platinum rings signify her ascension into the upper echelons of society and the green marble if lacquer effect is there to symbolize the flower girl Eliza Doolittle. This is a broad nib again a piston filler it's based on the 146 design it's a very heavy pen in the sense the cap has most of the weight. This is a lovely heft to it. The piston is also some that works like a charm. I would also just write here, let's see, um, here we go.
George Bernard Shaw. It's a broad nib. This has been filled with Monte Grappa black ink. If it was Mont Blanc black ink, it would be far wetter, which I will show in a bit with another pen that I also picked up. This is also a 146. It is called the Solitaire Le Grand Pinstripe in solid sterling silver with a broad nib as well. As you can see, the ink in this one is a Mo is the Mont Blanc black ink, and it writes far better than the Monte Grappa black. It has uh, gold highlights. And it's a fairly heavy pen considering it's completely out of sterling silver. It is also a piston filler, and has the piston, um, the ink window, like all the 146 pens. Thank you for watching.